Hi all. So those who know me before, happy to meet you all. And those who don't know me, just thank God if you believe in one to meet me today and to be a part of this program. Myself, Dr. Parshik Bashir, and people call me the actor lot. So there's a slight correction in that statement actually. Just for the beginning punch, I have told that. Actually, people didn't call me that. I myself started calling me in my TikTok, Instagram, YouTube profiles as the actor doctor. Like one old guy have called himself as Vimal Kumar when his name was Kunyan. So there is a slight difference between Vimal Kumar and actor doctor. That is, he didn't do anything himself to make the public to call him Vimal Kumar. When I am doing, I did, and I will do many more things to make people to call Dr. Bash Bashir as the actor doctor. So now, to those who don't know me, if you believe or think that this person, looking at my suffix of my name or prefix of my name, this person is an intelligent doctor who did great things for the society and the medicinal world, that's the reason why this guy is standing here on the most dignified platform with this so much this classified class affair, you are terribly mistaken. I'm standing today, have nothing to do with me being a doctor. Or in fact, quitting that job made me to stand here actually. I think that's the reason why people call me here. You know, it sounds strange, right? I know, I know that. Because most of these expressions are familiar for me. Because it looked like same, like my father's face when I told him that I'm leaving my job to go behind cinema. I, I actually want to play that but I'll play it myself inside because I have did that many times before. So okay, coming back to the points now, I have chased my passion, leaving my profession behind. That's the reason why I am standing in front of you all today and talking something. Like, like my previous speakers, I may not have anything to give you, some intelligent information or something, you know, which will be useful for you, just like Shari, just like her. Now, everybody gave you something which you can carry away. I don't have anything to give you. Or in fact, I would say, and then okay, particular makale. That thing only I could tell you because I am still in the path of my success. I am not succeeded yet. Just like during the lunch we were discussing, success has so many definitions. So many people are looking at me thinking that I am success now. I have so much of followers on Instagram, YouTube, that this I'm a famous personality. But inside me, if I am looking at myself or my closest ones, when they look at myself, they know that I'm not a successful person now because I'm still on my path towards success. So what I can share you today is nothing but the path of my success. So when I was working as a doctor a couple of years ago, one of my friends had called me and told, hey, Bashi, there's an opportunity in one of the uh, ongoing movie. So they, they were already casted with another star. So there's a date clash and that person is not there in the project. So they need somebody to, you know, just back up immediately. So I have shown them your profile and all, so they are quite impressed. So the thing is, you have to come immediately tomorrow here. The shoot was happening in Kutikar. So that time I was working in Bangalore. So immediately when I received the call, um, 18 days, they wanted 18 days of my life. For which? For what? The life which I was dreaming for 18 years. So that simple 18 days, they asked me, and I couldn't go for it because I was working. And I was working in such a stage, even if I get a massive cardiac arrest, and if I ask for a sick leave, they won't give me. So how can I ask for an 18 days leave for them? Still I tried. I tried my level best in all possible ways. And they said no. And even, to be frank, I even came to the, this point that, okay, I'm resigning my job. I don't want this anymore. Openly. And with the same open tone, my manager have told me, okay, then buy out your naughty spirit or serve naughty spirit for two months. So I didn't have any other option. I had courage, I had passion, I had dedication, but I didn't have 80,000 rupees to give and buy out my naughty spirit and go behind my passion that day. So it's gone. That opportunity is completely gone from my hand. So I couldn't do anything other than crying, you know, right? I was crying. I was crying the whole night, all day. I was crying, crying, crying. I couldn't do anything other than blaming myself for not able to get that opportunity which I'm living for. So from the next day itself, and sincerely, honestly speaking, I was very good at my profession, I was a very good doctor. So, but from that day itself, 
I started, you know, my sincerity level meter was going down. I was noticing it. Gradually, my thought was completely into movies. What if I get another chance like this and I'm not able to go? Then why? It's just a silly excuse that I'm telling I want to become an actor. And I'm not doing anything for it. So gradually that was going and my sincerity level and consciousness in this field was going down. And I was thinking that I'm taking revenge on my employer actually. They didn't left me so I won't like this only. But one fine day I realized my this non-sincere activity was not affecting my employer at all. It was affecting my patients actually. So the patients who came and sat in front of me having complete faith in me that this guy will understand what I'm telling. This guy will give a solution to my problems. And I was doing complete injustice to that person. So the moment when I realized that, I have decided. The first great realization of my life came then. I have realized and I have taken a decision to be sincere than never before. Be sincere in my profession than never before, but only for two months to serve my naughty spirit. Because with being sincere to patients and society, I wanted to be sincere to myself, my soul, my life and my dreams. So I have served two months naughty spirit, I left my job and I came all the way from Bangalore to Kochi only for movies. If somebody is asking me why what are you doing in Kochi, I am only seeking movies, nothing else. I don't have any other job to do there other than that. So what I am telling from my first life realization is, be sincere in whatever you do. Be it a doctor, be it an engineer, whatever you do. Even I know many people are sitting in front of me. You may have a lot of dreams inside you. Maybe you have suppressed it because of your family, because of your insecurity feelings, because of your fear. Whatever it is, what are you doing now? Be sincere to it. If you be sincere to that, definitely that will change your path from that to your profession just like it was did for me. If I was not sincere in my work, I wouldn't have that realization that I shouldn't do this with my patient, I have to switch. If I was not sincere with my passion, I would have never think of switching my career into this. So that is the reason everyone should keep in their mind that Always be sincere in everything you do. Let it be very, very small, silly things. Even you don't count, maybe you're just, you know, watering a plant every day just for the heck of it. Be sincere in that. That will give you something else to work. So that is the first realization of my life. And second realization of my life happens from a movie set called Tanuvara. So after me leaving the job and shifting to Kochi, I got a call from Dad Prakhalid Rahman stating that uh, this is... This is an associate director of Kali Dharma. So I got to know you about from your Instagram profile. So will it be possible for you to come down to Tanasheri and meet me tomorrow? So he's calling me in the night. So I told him, yeah, definitely I'll be there. What not? I, why else I'm leaving for? That was my thought. So then I took a train early morning. I didn't have a ticket or all. I just went and sat there. So I took a train to Tanasheri. So I went and met him. He was there in this, uh, his hotel. So we were talking. So many things about me, about uh, my life, how was it going, everything. So there, uh, this script bundle is there on this uh, bed. So I'm just standing here and I'm just sitting here and talking to him. So I'm just keep on staring at the script book, just like how a baby will look at chocolates if he keep aside. So I'll be like this, even if I'm talking like this, I'll be, uh -huh. this is the way I used to talk. So I must say, and uh, this guy, he's a very humble and polite director I have ever met. So this person had asked me, you want to look at it? And I was like, yeah, please. Then he gave me that bundle. I was reading. On the first page, it says, okay, very good. Second page, all the casting list. Okay, this character, this thing, Wasi, Tobino, Jemshi, so on, so on, so on. And I was like, oh, God. And I was reading it again and again. And once when I finished it, I gave a look at his face like this. And I must say, he's a very intelligent director, Kalurama. He understood the meaning of my expressions immediately. So he was like, then that constable Vijay inside me woke up and I started cooking meal away in front of him and I was like So this is the way I was communicating to him and he was like he told me one sentence then, one statement that statement, that time it was pretty annoying and I didn't like that statement but now I'm super proud taking that statement he told me 
പിന്നെ ചെറിയ ചെറിയ സാധനങ്ങൾ ഉള്ളത് എനിക്ക് ചെറുതൊന്നും തരാൻ പറ്റുള്ളൂ ഇതിന്റെ റേഞ്ച് അതല്ലോ സോ ദാറ്റ് ഐ വാസ് ഫീലിംഗ് ലൈക്ക് നോ ഈസ് അവോയ്ഡിങ് മീ ബട്ട് ഐ ലവ് ആൻഡ് ഫീൽ ഇയർ ഗുഡ് ഐ ആം വർക്ക് ഡൂയിങ് സംതിങ് ഗ്രേറ്റ് ഇൻ ദാറ്റ് ഗ്രേറ്റ് മൂവി ദാൻ സംതിങ് സ്മോൾ ബട്ട് ദൻ അഗൈൻ യു നോ മൈ സിറ്റുവേഷൻ ഐ ഹാവ് ടു സം ഹൗ മേക്ക് മൈ സെൽഫ് ബിലീവ് ദാറ്റ് യു ആർ ഇൻ ദ റൈറ്റ് പാത്ത് ആൻഡ് യു വിൽ സക്സീഡ് വൺ ഡേ സോ ഐ റിക്വസ്റ്റഡ് ഇൻ ഇറ്റ്സ് ഫൈൻ ഐ കം ജസ്റ്റ് ഗിവ് മീ സ്മോൾ ചെറുത് നല്ല വെല്ലാവുള്ളൂ തുടക്കം ചെറുത് നല്ല സോ ഈ ടോൾ മീ ഓക്കേ വിൽ സീ വിൽ സീ സോ ടിൽ ദാറ്റ് ഏജ് the word meaning of will see in my dictionary was less probable or maybe possible kind of thing which i believe still now it is the same but for me when i was leaving from that door the word meaning of will see was okay you are cast in tarlimala that will be your first movie and you are in the path of success so i was making believe i was believing myself that that is the word meaning of will see and days passed and he asked me to be in touch with his ad in ahas nas so days passed the puja happened of tarumala i have seen okay very good shoot is starting the shoot started tarshay schedules are happening most of the behind the scenes are coming no like i am not getting any call so i have texted uh, my this uh, now sans are the ad associate director would have fed up with my reminders and my good mornings to him every day so this was happening second schedule happened the third schedule happened in dubai all these things are happening and i was like oh my god where am i so my heart beat was increasing my anxiety level was increasing and same as of my frequency of texting towards nas nas good morning good evening good night good night so all these things are being seen that is a problem with this instagram they will show you they show us see and if they don't reply we will get thanks instagram need not have to know anything how much traction we are getting with that so that was happening and towards the end i think it's 97th day of shoot of tarumara i lost complete hope and i was like god this is gone in the air then one fine evening i'm getting a call from the production controller saying that okay you have been casted for this movie right okay come to the location tomorrow early morning 7 o'clock coaching college that is our location i was waiting for all these days for they call me they tell me this is your character this is that this is this nothing happened this was the call and i went there six o'clock and um, they have narrated me the character okay <clears throat> your character is uh, this is the guy altaf is the character right so he has influence on uh, wasim that is tobira thomas character and you are taking him from abroad he was working there and you are taking him to your college just like how you guys took me here so i have to take him for a function in the college and i have to decide that there's a small scene the total three scenes very small scenes that's the reason why they didn't give me any intimation before so they told me that i was okay fine i was super excited to do the shoot went very well khalid uh, rahman was so supportive he was just picking me from you know initially when there was a scene if you would have watched that movie Uh, there is an entry scene of Tobira Thomas coming out of the Bugatti. So uh, then that time I am standing here. So I was supposed to be in the front. So with my insecurity feelings and the other people who were around there, they were pushing me back. They just wanted to be in front of the frame. So I was just like, okay, fine. I was back. I was moving a little back. And this person behind the monitor in the mic, he told, "Now, Ashita, when I am going to the camera, you are going to be in front of the frame." that gave me so much of confidence that the director like him in the monitor the mic is calling bashi that he did, he did, he called the other people black shirt yellow shirt green shirt he called me bashi that was a great recognition for me actually so the show went well very small three scenes with few dialogues and the dub also went very well three scenes few dialogues and after finishing that people have started telling me that oh my god i'm so happy for you really really you know you have started around i know very well so i'm so happy for you and uh, going forward uh, the trailer was released talibar so if you want to watch the trailer the trailer is beginning with my voice and visual so my dialogue is starting with the trailer so then the curiosity again started for people like oh my god you are the one in all in talibar i don't yes even tobira is nothing in that movie i am everything so that was a golden period in my life i ne- i'm never going to forget because when trailer is starting the people are all behind it then days passed the movie was releasing i couldn't take first day for sure ticket uh there was a friday so i wanted to go to namaz so i took afternoon ticket and then um, it happened to be movie was released a little bit earlier in the time zone in the gcc countries so many of the friends that i knew from there had called me bro oh, wonderful even if it is small it because i used to tell everybody you know it's very small it's very small and uh, they they used to tell me even if it is small you did very well we never felt that somebody new person is doing it you just did it well and i was like okay very good then i asked one of the guy How was that scene where Tobino is slapping me and my reactions were there? How was that scene? He was like, wait, wait, what scene? Is there a scene like Tobino is slapping me? He was like, yes bro, one minute length scene was there, that is the major scene I'm expecting. 
Wait, one minute. He was discussing with the fellow, uh, his friend. And then again, two to three people's message, everybody I'm asking. Nobody has seen that uh, scene in the movie. So, I was a little bit worried and I was making myself believe that okay, this guy would have went to pass you and when that scene was passed. And this guy would have looked at his phone and then he... But five, six, seven people can't go wrong. And I was a little bit upset and I went with my wife and daughter to watch the movie and the scene was not there. So that was a scene which I was expecting the most. That scene was me and Pagino Thomas only. He's talking to me to and through dialogues, over the shoulder shorts, clothes shorts, and finally he's snapping me, grabbing my collar and telling al all these things, and that character was living in that scene actually. So that scene was not there. Again, I was crying. What else I can do? Nothing else I can do. I can't question anybody because this is a movie. Movies work like that. Then I was like, I think um, after Akashadudu, Tanmatra, Kaicha, and Edmund Intamoyde, Tallumara will be the movie which I was watching with my, you know, shredding my eyes. To be frank. So, and I watched Tallumara only once in my lifetime. Take me. Like, I have never watched second time. Because whenever I watch that movie, I'll start crying. Thinking about the scene, my experience while shooting, and Toby, conversation, I mean, conversation with Toby no Thomas during the shot. So, all these things happened. The basic thing why I should tell you all this now was, the small scenes, which I was narrating to everybody, small things, when I lost one among it, I realized how big it was. How big it was, and how big it is, and how big it would have been if that scene was there in the movie. Till that day, to be frank, I was just tell I was not just telling that it is simple, small, small. I was believing that it was a small scene. I could have get a little more bigger, nicer. But then when I lost it, I understood how big it was. So that is the second realization of my life. You will have a lot of small, small, big things around you, which you may find it as small now, but when you lose it, when you lose it, you will understand that how big it was or how big it could have been. So keep that thing also in your mind. The second realization of the actor doctor is find the small, small, big things in surrounding you, surrounding you, and those things will take you high and those things will make you feel better one day. So these two realizations of my life may help you. And if any one of you felt this life story of mine as motivational or inspirational, please do narrate the same to me because I'm badly looking for some motivational, life inspiring stories. So this is all I have to tell. And Victor will be back here with us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.